Stove and Tech Render Installation. After installation of air and moisture barrier, sub-construction and insulation, Stove and Tech carrier boards must be installed as a backer for the stove architectural finish. Prior to installation of Stove and Tech carrier board A+, at ground level, balconies, patios, ceilings and roof surfaces, a stove ventilation profile may be used to prevent pest and debris buildup within the ventilation cavity. Determine the size and layout of carrier boards from project-specific drawings. All boards must end and begin at Stoventro T-Profile center lines. Position, level and install the first carrier board. Fasten using Stoventro render facade screws at each corner to hold in place. Mark a vertical reference line for the field fasteners at the center lines of the T-profiles on the face of the carrier board. Fasten the carrier board in the field and edges per the project specific drawings. Ensure that the screws are flush with the carrier board. Do not overdrive the screws. Install remaining boards with joints staggered and butted. Cut boards by scoring the front fabric side of the board with a knife. Break the board at the cut and cut the rear side mesh with a knife. Alternatively, boards may be cut using a circular saw with a carbide blade. Install edge protection profiles as required per the project specific drawings. At grade, provide a minimum 2 inches to carrier boards. For tight or difficult installation areas, stow edge protection profiles should be installed prior to fastening of the carrier board. Starting from the left side first, slide the profiles onto the carrier board. Miter any intersecting profiles, leaving the mesh portion unmitered. Continue this process pre-installing edge protection profiles and installing boards in these areas. At external corners, the last Stove and Tech carrier board is extended to meet the opposite wall plane. A vertical Stove Ventro L profile is then fastened to the back side of the board using Stove Render Facade screws. The L profiles must be plumb and set flush to the installed T profiles of the second facade surface. Complete the corner fastening the carrier board on the returning wall for the L profile. For installation at windows, the carrier boards must be scored and notched to fit an L shape. Install edge protection profiles per project specific drawings. At window sills, install edge protection profile and install metal flashing with a minimum 3 8 inch ventilation gap between the sill flashing and the edge protection profile. At window jams, measure the distance of the returning carrier board and cut. Install edge protection profiles and L profiles per project specific drawings. It may be necessary to peel back edge protection mesh to fasten screws into L profiles. Install returning carrier board fastening to adjoining carrier board at the L profile. At window heads, review project specific drawings. Start by measuring the distance of the returning carrier board. Make sure you count for the ventilation and then cut. Install edge protection profiles and L profiles per project specific drawings. Install returning carrier board fastening L profile as shown in the project specific drawings. The most common installation allows for a ventilation space of 3 8 inch to 13 16 inch. Install any remaining edge protection profiles on the front elevation. Peel back edge protection mesh and apply a continuous coat of stow base coat at the jam and sill and then embed mesh into stow base coat. Apply a coat of stow base coat at the jams and embed stow mesh corner beads. Apply a stow base coat and install mesh at the corners at a 45 degree angle. Apply a stow base coat to the edge protection profiles. At outside corners apply stow base coat and embed corner bead in stow base coat. Apply stow base coat and embed stow mesh. A variety of finishes are available for Stow Ventec render, including field Stow architectural finishes, pre-manufactured echo shapes, thin veneers, 
or stone laid in adhesive. Apply the desired finish or veneer material as described in the product bulletin. At the top of the system, provide a minimum 3 8 inch ventilation joint between the parapet cap or ceiling and the carrier boards. Visit our website to learn more about the Stowe Ventec system.